Google police state rollout. And then they have the token Snowden there. And then we had interviews with, with most of the programmers that were there for the Snowden deal, not knowing even after he spoke who he was or about the NSA. I mean, these people do not know what planet they're on. So we're going to play Leanne McAdoo's latest report premiering in here uh, on air. And then we're going to go to Paul Watson on the Boston martial law situation, where first they locked down a neighborhood. Well, first, you know, two houses, then, then a neighborhood, now a whole larger neighborhood than half a city, where you're the enemy. This is all Fallujah lockdown, Cordon City martial law that's against the law and the Constitution, Bill of Rights. Let's go to Leanne McAdoo's report. So here at South by Southwest at the convention center, a lot of companies have these interactive booths set up where people can interact with their products and play these new games. They've got a bunch of wearables with a Google Glass and all sorts of virtual reality technology. Subway has a huge display back here where they've got clothes that are hooked up to computers, maybe with some sort of sensor material that will let you know when it's time to eat more of their yoga foam mat bread or you know putting that ham sandwich down because you're obese total nanny state new track suit but <laughs> we asked if someone could just explain to us what these prototypes were for and she went to go get her people and they were all happy about it but then they noticed that we were from Infowars and they refused to speak to the real press that's going to ask them you know hey what's going on with this push for transhumanism and is that why you're feeding us all these weird yoga foam materials because you're just preparing us for our new robo meals that we're gonna have you know, they didn't want to answer those kind of questions, so they'll talk to the fake press that's going to kiss their butt and tell them how great their product is, but she saw this and she scurried away. <laughs> so this could be used for uh, medicine, say, where a surgeon is working and people want to see exactly how they're doing their process. So, for example, one of the first use cases that were developed was for the military, where a battlefield medic could be triaging cases out on the field and the expert surgeon could be in a forward operating base and they could be, you know, helping and guiding. And now this technology, we're using it for the more commercial type use cases. It's very minority report. It is very minority report, but you know what? Like, so are the smartphones, so is everything else. So what in the world is this? <laughs> yeah. So this is a remote presence device. It's a beam by a company called Suitable Technologies. And uh, basically we created the device because we said, you know, why are people transporting their bodies places where they're not using their bodies for anything besides, you know, milling about a space? Wow, this is just incredible. This, so you, are you, do you feel kind of duped that you're having to sit at a desk and do South By remotely like this? No, so um, we've actually got a crazy week here, so I'm grateful that I can just go to South by Southwest remotely because I feel like if I had to deal with the flight and then right, you're like, oh, I have to stay out late with everybody. I just feel like I can save my energy and then I can also, um, I'm on my computer, right? So I can be working simultaneously, sending emails and getting work done while I'm here. Wow, Alex Jones, you need to get this technology. Then you can just send yourself where you need to go. Why, why Google Glasses? Why not? We, we spend so much energy trying to use these phones in every which way we can. Why not just put it in our brain? You try to see with them, you try to hear things with them, you try to, you try to use them to make yourself better. And if you could people just are do hopelessly it with your voice, innocent and if the and information naive. can come straight into your eyes, why that, I, I, I imagine that would be valuable. Well, why not just implant a chip in your head next? Oh, because we're not at that point with Moore's Law yet. It's inevitable. It's going to happen. And it, you will. When that happens, you'll, then you can be glasses free. Yeah, I imagine a lot of my friends who love the Google Glass, they love playing with the device. They just don't like how it looks right now. It's extremely intrusive. It's very conspicuous. And they're all waiting for Google to make contact lenses that do the same thing. Yeah. So we all think it's inevitable. Yeah. And all the pushback is futile. Has anyone yelled at you or tried to trip you or anything or something for putting their face in a facial recognition software with yours or no google doesn't allow that uh it understands that this is very creepy and intrusive at the That's moment not true People really they already have an app doing that kind of thing so you can't submit apps to the store that would do facial recognition oh. yet right and aren't you worried about someone hacking in and taking over especially if you get that implant chip implant see we'll cross the bridge when we get there right now the hardest challenge is to bring hardware right, to we're going to come level. back with the rest of this uh, it's like saying this is simply intriguing did you hear him we need to
add to that the Borg saying, you will be assimilated, resistance is futile. That's who they give Google Glasses to, is these little minions that spew this. Resistance is futile. It's futile. The ultimate survival bug out lightweight fishing pole is MROD. Made by a family owned American company and assembled in Idaho, MROD fishing gear comes with a lifetime warranty and 90 day money back guarantee. MROD weighs just 8 ounces and breaks down to 14 inches. MROD's indestructible stainless steel compact design makes it perfect to take anywhere. Cast your eyes now at MROD.com. That's E M M R O. D.com. Emrod. Fish to survive. Survive to fish. Clean water at home. Clean water at the office. Clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. My name is Jessica Armand. I'm an activist, a GCN listener, and mother of three. Our drinking water and food are filled with fluoride and other contaminants that harm our teeth and gums. To protect my family, I created My Magic Mud, an all-natural teeth whitening and strengthening remedy. My Magic Mud is a soft powder that polishes your teeth, reduces sensitivity, and removes harmful toxins from deep inside your mouth. You deserve a bright, healthy smile. Visit MyMagicMud.com and get yours today. That's MyMagicMud.com. Attention gun owners, it's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel body armor goes on in seconds, is civilian legal in all 50 states, is 100% made in the USA, is veteran owned, and ships next business day for free. Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. Extend your life with Extend Ovite. So, Dad, you're sounding a lot better. How have you been feeling since your heart attack? Well, son, I am feeling a lot better. Ever since your sister ordered me a bottle of Heart Drop 2000's Extend Ovite for my heart. Heart Drop? Extend Ovite? What's that? Well, it, it's just seven herbs that are approved for helping keep my heart healthy. That's great, Dad. I was getting worried about you. I am so glad it's helping. So am I, son. I'm very glad your sister got it for me. I wish I had not known about it before my heart attack. Yeah, but would you have taken it, though? You know, I'm not sure if I would have. But I'm awful glad I'm taking it now. To order, call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822. Or visit our website at heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. <laughs> The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show Because there's a war on for your mind Rob Dew, Jakari Jackson, Leanne McAdoo And other members of the Infowars.com team The Infowars Nightly News and radio team Are at the corner of San Jacinto and Congress Right down by the Capitol uh, Where... I kind of got the idea this weekend that we needed an armed march with the Texas Open Carry folks during South by Southwest. When we called them, they said, no, we're already doing one Saturday now to counter Bloomberg and others coming down here, basically getting the, the World Bank to finance South by Southwest, to try to organize media groups 
uh, for the registration and confiscation of guns, which is the mayors against the Constitution's goal. The official name is um, mayors, uh, of course, um, against illegal guns. And of course, that's any gun that the state doesn't own or have to point at the American people. As Mao Zedong said, political power grows out of the barrel of a gun, or all political power grows out of the barrel of a gun. Uh, but they're going to be marching, folks, and I think it's going to be as many as 30, 40, 50 people impromptu. We're not sure. Uh, but I said, hey, let's have one earlier. Let's have one on Wednesday if you want to do it to try to supercharge national media attention for Saturday. Uh, and, and the march they have this Saturday, it's all listed at Infowars.com. I'm going to have Kit Daniels repost that. But finishing the end of Leanne McAdoo's report that we're going to post up on Infowars.com, if folks want to be able to link through to that, we'll probably add it to Watson's article about the Google Glasses because it, it ties into that that's linked on Drudge right now. But this guy, they got, what, 3,000 people together at first, brought them into the Google uh, events, got them to agree that they would push a party line about you will be assimilated, you will submit, it's inevitable, you will take brain chips, but you know, first it will be uh, contacts and then it will be in the brain. This is good, this is happy, this is trendy, this is fun, this will empower you. The problem is it's already hacked by the globalist. It's controlled by the eugenicist technocrats. Sure, I'm sure down the road brain chips are great for blind people. Brain chips could boost space travelers, whatever. The problem is the system is run by evil people inherently. Look at the NSA. Look at all of it. Look at how they lie constantly. Look at how they cheat constantly. You're letting them hack into your life like the smart meters. So let's let this idiot finish because I, I, I've heard what he's saying before. And so Google literally is like an invading space armada. Here it is. Yeah. So we all think it's inevitable. Yeah. And all the pushback is futile. Has anyone yelled at you or tried to trip you or anything or something for putting their face in a facial recognition software with yours or no google doesn't allow that uh it understands that this is very creepy and intrusive at the moment people are really on the fence with this kind of thing so you can't submit apps to the store that would do facial recognition oh. yet right and aren't you worried about someone hacking in and taking over especially if you get that implant chip implant see we'll cross the bridge when we get there right now the hardest challenge is to bring hardware to that level mm -hmm. uh, it's like saying it's like saying that oh we've just discovered fire we could maybe melt stones and make iron out of it but wait somebody could make a knife with that and kill me so let's not let's not use fire <laughs> that's ridiculous yeah. these are just tools you yeah. can either make the best stick in the world using the sharpest knife or you could become a homicidal maniac yeah. it really depends on you and it depends on us as a society exactly to produce people that will use this for google is evil for making everything better and they've got all these nice people that work at google like this guy and and who really believe this stuff it's a cult it's the new religion and the globalists all the technocrats from ray kurzweil to you name it say you will take brain chips we will reduce population by at least 80 percent world government will be here by 2020 we will micromanage you in a technocracy i mean i've read hundreds of books and news articles and white papers where they all say this i mean we've read it on air you know it you see it in the news and then we go hey we don't want that and they go hey don't be scared it's going to be fun resistance is futile he actually said resistance is futile. Well, I've heard that before. We are the Borg. Lower your shields and surrender your ships. We will add your biological and technological distinctiveness to our own. Your culture will adapt to service us. Resistance is futile. Resistance is futile. No, resistance is victory. <laughs> and that's why they always tell you resistance is futile. Because it's not. Freedom is sexy. Freedom is cool. Freedom is deep. And free will is key. And the technocracy is being built to smash free will. And look at the fruits of television and the smartphones. The language is shrinking. The biological brainwaves are lowering. The IQ is dropping. We are physically dying. We are physically being wrecked right now. So let me tell you, Google, and New World Order, what comes out the other end of your machine. Stinking disease. Fountains of pus. Okay, we don't want what you're doing. We will hack your system. We will take it over. We will use it. We will assimilate you for humanity, and you will not stop us, degenerate filth. 
We're on the march.